Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seam Lund and in this video we're going to talk about how do you make NAD plus naturally. You know, there's a lot of talk about NAD plus being this uh, potential molecule for anti-aging purposes and longevity. And uh, usually people, you know, prescribe it as a supplement, uh, not directly, but you know, those, those precursors, NMN, uh, nicotinamide riboside, nicotinamide, uh, all those things are to boost NAD levels, but there are also like ways to boost it naturally. So uh, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Make sure you click the like and subscribe as well for future videos about health and performance. Do it! NAD. It uh, stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, and it's this uh, major coenzyme inside the body that uh, has a lot of different functions, and it helps to also convert the food that you get uh, and the calories from that into energy. So it's a very uh, important regulator of all these energetic processes inside the body. And uh, with low NAD, basically your energy production would uh, be uh, lower, uh, whereas with higher NAD, there's like more of this uh, basically ab abundance of energy around. And uh, that's why one of the reasons why, you know, you may see that with aging, uh, you start to see uh, this um, accumulation of these health problems and uh, lack of energy and uh, lack of uh, muscle mass and lack of bone density because of this uh, deterioration of uh, NAD that happens. It sucks! And uh, like I said, with age, your NAD levels are a drop and it's uh, quite a significant drop. It drops more than half, more than 50% after your 30s or so. And uh, yeah, that is one of the, let's say, part of the reasons um, why you start to see these age related comorbidities and uh, age related issues uh, from that. Your NAD levels go down and because of that, uh, you, um, it's basically harder for your body to stay healthy because of its lack, lack of energy essentially and lack of NAD. And there are like different reasons why it happens, so why does NAD go down? Um, but the main, uh, main uh, contributing biggest ones are just, just like damage, physical damage you experience. Uh, DNA damage, inflammation is one of the biggest consumers of uh, NAD through this enzyme uh, called the CD38. And uh, CD38 basically yeah, makes you burn through the NAD. Also things like DNA repair. So if you are experiencing DNA damage, your body has to repair it. Then it uses NAD to conduct this process uh, with the help of sirtuins. So sirtuins are DNA repair proteins. And uh, if you're experiencing basically a lot of damage all the time, then uh, yeah, your body burns through uh, the NAD stores uh, from that. So all these things like sleep deprivation, chronic inflammation, bad diet, lack of exercise, maybe environmental pollutions, toxins, uh, radiation, all those things are gonna basically uh, burn through the NAD stores. And uh, then you will see actually like this uh, vicious feedback loop that the lower your NAD levels get, the, ho the more damage you're gonna experience because your antioxidant defense systems go uh, down. You have less, less uh, basically ability to deal with those stress and uh, because of that, you're more vulnerable and you start to experience more damage from that. Whereas if, you're, if you have high NAD levels, then your antioxidant defenses are higher and your resiliency against all these environmental stresses is also higher. It's a trap! All right, so now I'm going to actually uncover all these different pathways, which are like a pretty uh, you know, confusing picture. So I'll explain it briefly. So these are the three main pathways of creating NAD. Uh, we have the price handler pathway the Nova synthesis, the Nova biosynthesis pathway, and the salvage pathway. Uh, so uh, the price handler pathway is the one where you convert um, nicotinic acid from food into NAD plus through these different uh, path uh, steps. And the, the Nova biosynthesis pathway is uh, also where you convert food uh, tryptophan and niacin in the uh, TCA cycle into NAD plus. Uh, so these are the food pathways, the ones that you uh, get from a dietary uh, means. And then there's the salvage pathway, which actually contributes to the vast majority of the uh, NAD that you're uh, producing on a daily basis. So your body produces it daily, and it also recycles it. So the, uh, the uh, vast majority of NAD that you actually have is produced through the salvage pathway. So uh, yeah, the food is important, but it's not nearly as important as the ones that are governed by the salvage pathway, which uh, are exercise and basically intermittent fasting and uh, those things key uh, like a rate limiting step inside a salvage pathway that uh, determines how much NAD are you producing through the salvage pathway is NAMPT and uh, this is uh, it's uh, basically connected to a lot of uh, the AMPK pathway so AMPK pathway is the, the one that is um, regulating energy metabolism and energy balance so when you're exercising or you're doing fasting or you're calorie restricting uh, those things uh, you're activating AMPK because your body is under energy stress and then your body ramps up things like ketosis, fat burning, as well as this AMPT, NAMPT uh, pathway. And um, that then uh, helps with the recycling of uh, NAD. So uh, all these positive energy stressors, exercise, fasting, uh, calorie restriction, sauna maybe, uh, those will uh, have a positive effect on the salvage pathway. 
And uh, that's why I think that, you know, that's why exercise is, you know, one of the most important and one of the best things to uh, boost your longevity and just overall health because of this, you know, there's many reasons, but uh, this is also like one of them, one of them. Cardio. However, the NAMPT pathway is also uh, connected to the circadian rhythms. So circadian rhythms, the day and night cycles, and the sirtuins themselves are also uh, basically circadian clock or the circadian regulators, circadian genes. And um, the uh, main like circ circadian clocks, like clock BMAL1, they're uh, CERT1 dependent. And uh, NAMPT itself is also CERT1 dependent. So uh, you need basically the sirtuins and you need the uh, circadian rhythm alignment to have NAMPT uh, working properly. Uh, so uh, it's this is the one uh, that is usually like overrated or overlooked so that you need to be circadian rhythms your circadian rhythms need to be aligned you need to be uh, getting enough sleep you need to be getting you need to be having this uh, consistent sleep wake on a cycle you need to be uh, synchronized, synchronized with the environment in terms of the light signals uh, instead of things like you know uh, jet lag and the shift work and uh, irregular sleeping patterns those things are going to mess up the sirtuins and the, sirtu the uh, NAMPT pathway which then lowers your NAD levels as well uh, whereas if you are having a regular consistency for going cycle, then the uh, NAMPT uh, pathway is also uh, activated, which then helps with the recycling of NAD. And I think that, you know, I'm not ex exactly sure the numbers, but I think that the, uh, the salvage pathway contributes up to like 80 or 90% of the NAD that you produce on a daily basis. So uh, the food, yeah, is, <laughs> it's actually like pretty insignificant in terms of how much NAD you have. So the most of it is coming from the salvage pathway, the exercise you do, the uh, time received eating you have, the sleep that you do, um, getting sleep and uh, getting sunlight in terms of the circadian rhythm alignment, uh, because yeah, like NMPT is the kind of the the, um, the bottleneck almost. That uh, if this if this messes up because of circadian rhythm alignment, then uh, you're gonna have like a pretty drastic reduction in the potential of how much NAD that you have. Disappointed! If you want to know what your NAD levels are at, or you want to boost your uh, NAD levels, then uh, check out Do Not Age. They have the world's only at-home NAD testing kit and they also have NMN plus other cool anti-aging supplements like hyaluronic acid, TMG, epigenin, resveratrol and others. You can get a 5% discount with the code SEAM at do not age.org. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.